Hare Krishna. Today we are going to make eggless banana cake and that too with some of the ingredients which are just lying and getting wasted at home. I am talking about over ripened banana which is almost blackened. You will definitely throw this, you are not going to eat it but please don't throw it away because I am going to teach you how to convert this banana into a yummy cake. So let's go. To begin with, here I have taken 3 to 4 blackened ripe bananas and cut them into small pieces and put them into a mixture grinder. Now here I am adding 5 to 6 tablespoon of sugar. And now I am adding refined oil. This is around half a cup of refined oil. Now I will grind it. This is the consistency that we need. For making cake now we'll transfer this smooth paste into a bowl where we will mix all the ingredients and here I've put a large strainer on top of it adding one cup of all-purpose flour that is maida and half a tablespoon of baking powder and two three pinches of baking soda never put maida directly into the bowl always use strainer otherwise there will be lot of lumps and the paste will not be smooth here I am using 2-3 pinches of salt and now adding one and a half cup of milk you can use any kind of milk skimmed toned or full fat doesn't matter we have to thoroughly whisk all the ingredients so that we get a fine smooth paste which is very important when you make a cake adding few drops of vanilla essence and these are some dry fruits which I have chopped them and these are some choco chips which you will find easily in supermarkets it's ready so let's prepare to bake it here I have taken a heart shaped baking tray I'm adding half a tablespoon of refined oil and just smearing it all over the tray so that the cake does not stick I will also spread some all-purpose flour this process will also help cake to bake nicely it will not stick at the bottom And now I will transfer this smooth paste into this baking tray. Here I have put my baking tray into my microwave and initially I will microwave it for only 3 minutes and then check it. If it's not done then again I will add some more minutes. Please check uh, how much time it takes in your microwave. Here after 3 minutes I saw that still it was not done so I'm adding three more minutes and after three minutes I will see I will check it by the help of a knife whether it's done or not so guys it's already six minutes let's check it all right it's done because the knife has come clean so now I'll take it out and let it cool for some time with the help of knife I am clearing from the sides so that it does not stick now I have taken a plate and flipped over the cake on top of the plate and let it sit for some time and my cake is already on the plate let's check it and show you how soft and spongy it is see I'm cutting it and it's look yummy there are choco chips and some dry fruits so you can serve it as it is or if you want you can decorate this so I'll show you how 
I have decorated my cake. I have taken Nutella and just spread it like this on top of my cake. I am not using any icing or any cream, simply Nutella. And these are some choco chips which I am spreading all over. And my cake is ready. And believe me guys, it was the most tasty cake we have had in recent times. Much better than market old rotten cakes. So what I will do is I will offer it to Lord Shri Krishna by putting a tulsi leaf over it. Once the food is offered to Lord Krishna, it becomes even more tastier. So hope you like this recipe of eggless banana cake. Try it at your home and let me know in the comment box how was it. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. This is Aishwarya signing off. Hare Krishna.